Alright, so today we're looking at minigun builds, namely for the sake of talking about the photon cabin, but first we've got this growl, which doesn't have a perk on it like the photon does, and then our RN seal, which is going to dictate how long we can fire, and I'm using this because I've got a target which takes exactly one heat cycle with that, but also we've got two equalizers and one aurora, so as you can see when we go shoot this target, it's going to take one heat cycle's worth of time to break it. Exactly. Although, actually, first I'm going to talk about a little difference between these two weapons real quick. So they're similar, but over here you can see, while I'm getting numbers, there's no heat. So like I can shoot this little guy right here, and the cabin's orange, but here, nothing. Now if I get up right on the line, so about 150 meters from my guns. Doesn't quite work. Maybe the signs aren't right, but if I eek forward just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. Now that's orange. So, that's a trade-off with the Aurora. One which mostly favors it, but with the equalizers, yeah, as you'll see, we gotta be about 50 meters away from the target and I don't trust these signs too much so I'm a little closer but as you can see heats up pretty quickly and you should note that the equalizer perks are maxing out like just before we overheat and boom perfect timing so this is exactly the amount of time and amount of damage you do with one RN seal now if we look at this again where I try to get closer to the 50 meter line. We'll get him on fire, but doesn't quite do it. So if I get up a little closer here though, once I've cooled off, you'll see 12 damage. So yeah, 50 meters is about the line. Next though, we've got the classic Photon Aurora setup, again with one RN seal, alongside our Auroras and our Photon Cabin. So let's see if this is also enough damage to do a whole truck's worth of health in this frame of time. And boy, that's a noise with those tracks and the cabin. <laughs> but yeah, I could be doing this from 150 meters away, but may as well be close just to make sure now you can see it heats up more quickly so that might help allies a bit but at the same time like you're not actually killing it it's on fire but it doesn't get the job done and you can see still it takes another good couple seconds to finish it off so next we've got the same thing this is our photon Aurora setup, but now we've got an extra blue cooler, which is what's required to make the difference alongside this RN seal against that target. It's kind of just an interesting coincidence that this is exactly how much more heat capacity you need, but as you'll see, this is exactly how much more time it takes for these guns to do what the equalizer setup was able to. Yep, right as I overheat, so again, that's perfect timing. Last, we're going back to the equalizers, but this time we got that same blue cooler on the build with a harpy cabin, I guess? It, this perk doesn't actually affect these guns at all, I don't know why it's on here. But you know, it's the exhibition. It's an exhibition build, because I don't have all these mini guns. <laughs> Anyhow though, the point of this though is to see just how much extra range our raw damage will give us. So, I did a couple trials of this, but this was the first one, and you can see I'm at just a little past 100 away from this. Some shots are whizzing by him, get some white numbers, of course, but. 
pops actually a tiny bit before I overheated, and that's a hundred meters away, and with a capped ramp.